This video is sponsored by GSP North America. Over 35 years of manufacturing CV axles, loaded strut assemblies, hub assemblies, and much more. Visit gspnorthamerica.com for more information. On some vehicles, if you're replacing the CV axle or just the CV joint, you're going to have to deal with the ABS system. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the tone ring and also the wheel speed sensor. On a lot of rear wheel drive vehicles, you'll notice that the tone ring is actually mounted to the outer CV joint. The outboard CV joint typically has a reluctor ring on it. This reluctor ring has windows. In other words, these little bars that go by the wheel speed sensor that is connected to the ABS modulator, well, it changes a wave pattern. This wave pattern can read the speed of the wheel. In other words, as the vehicle goes faster or slows down, the wave pattern changes in amplitude and also frequency. If you don't get this right when you install the brand new axle or CV joint, well, you're going to have issues with the ABS. Typically, it will detect the error or maybe even a lack of number of windows compared to the original and set an ABS light on for the vehicle. It is critical that you replace the CV joint or CV axle with one of these reluctor rings on it or in some cases you can buy these on the aftermarket. So before you install that new axle or new CV joint, make sure you're looking at the reluctor ring on it. Make sure it has the same number of windows as the one you're taking off. If not, you could have issues with the ABS performance. In other words, you could set a code and it may think that that wheel is either traveling too fast or too slow compared to the other three on the vehicle. I'm Andrew Markell, thank you very much.